Okay, are you ready for the smoke to hit you in the face? Yes, 20 of my smokiest fragrances. Now this is a video that you guys have been asking for me to do for quite some time. It's been about two years that I was requested smoky fragrances. And I think the first time people requested it, it was back when we did, Dahlia and I did a video, top 20 incense fragrances. So around that time, I was requested a smoky fragrances video, but I hadn't had enough of a smoky collection. And I didn't want to focus on incense because yes, incense fragrances are smoky, but we have here smoky fragrances and not necessarily all of them are relying on incense to create the smoke. So there's fragrances which feature a smoke note. And then there's also fragrances here that have a smoky accord. So if you want to find out what they are and guess what, I am giving away one of my perfume hats to one subscriber of this channel who can guess whichever one of these fragrances I'm going to review this week correctly, then I'm sending a hat to them. International, I guess, I'll, I'll ship it international, but I can't guarantee that international shipping will go um, smooth. So uh, if it gets lost, sadly, I, I can't uh, control it, but um, I'll do as best as I can to like stuff it into a box and ship it correctly. So I have one hat for one subscriber. Guess which of these fragrances that I'm going to talk about today uh, that I'll be reviewing at, towards the end of the week. I know it's, it's a really complicated uh, giveaway, but some of you are good guessers. All right, so if you want to find out my 20 favorite smoky fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, smoke is in the air. Uh, these are the smokiest fragrances that I have in my collection. Lots of smoky uh, fragrances and different uh, variations. Some of these are using incense to create smoke along with other fragrances with a smoky accord. Some actually list as smoke as being one of the nodes. But all of these are very smoky. So if you like smoky fragrances, then this is the video for you today. But if this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, and discovering new brands and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. We're going to jump right into it and we're going to start with the first fragrance called Smoke from Acro right here. So this one it's a wonderful smoky fragrance. As soon as you smell it, you have smoke that hits you in your face. But in addition to the smoke note in here, you do have some sweetness in the background. There's a tobacco note, of course, and then you've got benzoin, juniper, and tonka beans. So when I first discovered this fragrance, I was visiting Los Angeles and at the scent bar in uh, DTLA, I sampled it and I wore it and it was hot and humid outside. I went out and the fragrance just totally came alive and I got obsessed with the way it smells and I got bought a bottle, of course. And I really love this fragrance. It does hint a little bit at tobacco vanille, but uh, not too much. The sweetness from the benzoin and the tobacco kind of reminds me of uh, tobacco vanille, but it's different because it's smoky. Uh, it doesn't sm stay ultra smoky though either. So if you like the idea, check it out. It's Smoke from Acro. Next, going to the House of Baikillian, and this is is smoke for the soul this one right here so this one doesn't use the uh, smoke note but it's creating an accord and what we've got here is cannabis eucalyptus mate birchwood tobacco and from what I've read birchwood or birch has a very smoky quality so I'm assuming the combination of all these notes along with the birch is what's creating the smoky like effect it does smell a little bit green and herbal uh, and that's because of the cannabis note and then of course also the eucalyptus so the com combination comes off a bit like you're smelling uh, marijuana or um, cannabis but a great scent I think this is one of the Killian's underrated offerings, but I, I really enjoy it. If you like that idea of a very green herbal like a quality of a fragrance smelling like cannabis, then definitely smoke for the soul is one for you to try. So this next one is from the House of Imaginary Authors, one of my favorite, favorite uh, smoky fragrances. This is a City on Fire, this one right here. So this one has a burnt match note and as soon as you smell it, it smells like smoke like literally like you're burning uh, firewood in a fireplace that kind of smoke um, so it's really really prominent and if you like that smell of uh, smokiness burned woods and things like that this is definitely one for you to try but this also has labdanum so it gives it an ambery accord there's some juniper in there there's nard and there's some fruity touches 
But for me, it's all about a very ambery, smoky fragrance. It's really, really wonderful. This happens to be one of my favorites from Imaginary Authors, along with um, the Saint Julep. And uh, both of them are my top favorite fragrances from this house, and I can't get enough of the way they smell. But this is all about smoke here. Check it out. City on Fire from the House of Imaginary Authors. Now this next one, I haven't spoken much about on the channel for a while, but I have a full review of it way back when I first launched this particular channel. It's from the House of La Curie, and it's Incendo, this one right here. And this is like, ultra ultra burned uh, forest smelling kind of a, a, a fragrance. You've got embers in here, you've got fur, incense, pine tree, sage. So just imagine a big beautiful forest just catching on fire. Sadly that's a bad thought but they've captured that smell into here. So it smells like fire, it smells like the, the pine tree, the fir tree, and there's the smoke from the incense and uh, all that good stuff. All intermingled and combined together to create a, a wonderful smoky fragrance. This is a small house out of uh, Tucson, Arizona. Very, very indie house, but one of the best uh, smoky fragrances. So this is La Curie Incendo. This next one is from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and this is La Dano Nero. You know this has to be on this list. So this is so burned and ashy. It smells very, very unique to me. Um, you can actually uh, smell the incense. You can actually smell the smoke. Then you also pick out like burned uh, things, like there's a burned ashy quality. And probably coming from tobacco, because there's tobacco in here, probably coming from incense. But the combination just uh, reminds me of ash, like any kind of ash that's just like piles of burned things turned into ash. But there's a sweetness in here of cognac, it's sweetened up. And of course there's labdanum, after all it's called La de Nero, black labdanum. And the oud and the oak, wonderful woody, smoky, incensey tobacco fragrance. Definitely one of the best offerings from Tiziana Terenzi, I love it. It's a uh, La de Nero from Tiziana Terenzi. So this next one is from the house of Zoologist Perfumes and I have three fragrances of theirs that have uh, smoky qualities to it, but I had to go back and smell them all and figure out which one am I going to use because I just wanted to feature one fragrance from each house uh, and I feel like this is the smokiest out of all three of them and I'll tell you what the other ones are, but this one is T-Rex right here. Now I have a video with Antonio Gardoni of uh, well, he's not with Zoologist Perfumes. He created this fragrance for Zoologist Perfumes. He's with Bogue Profumo. And it's a long video that he, just, he and I discuss how the, the creation of this fragrance came about. But this one's so, so, so smoky. Um, it smells uh, like sweet woods catching on fire to me. There's lots of balsams. There's lots of alb uh, olibanum, uh, which is uh, basically the uh, uh, same thing as frankincense. Leather, juniper, civet, fur. Champaka, wonderful, wonderful fragrance, but it's ultra smoky. Um, when the fragrance is drying down on me, the sweetness from, I think it's the balsams that's coming in here, uh, and the champaka, but there's something like barbecue comes uh, and develops on me. Like I smell like barbecued, uh, not necessarily like meats, but just barbecued uh, vegetation. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to you. Vegetables, things like that. So it's a very, very unique fragrance. Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex from Zoologist Perfumes. And the other two fragrances that are smoky from this house are Moth, which I've reviewed, and also Squid, which I've reviewed. Check the uh, videos out if you are curious. They're smoky, but I felt like this was the smokiest of all of them. So this next one is from the house of Map of the Heart, and this is Black Heart Volume 2. Wonderful, wonderful release. This is such a great uh, smell. So this one has notes of eucalyptus, incense, woody notes, black pepper, cardamom. And to me, it smells like a smoky rubber, but sweet. Um, so there's something sweet in here. Something is sweetening up the fragrance because when I've smelled smoked rubber, like tires and things like that, there's not any sweetness to it. Um, so there's a unique twist with this one, which I like because I like the sweetness and I like my fragrances to be sweet, but it does smell like burned rubber and it also smells like leather. Um, so it's a combination of a leather, rubber, vinyl, pleather, um, all of that stuff together. Very, very unique fragrance and a lovely, lovely bottle. And if you like really interesting smoky fragrances, definitely check this one out. This one, like I said, has that eucalyptus note. Same with um, Smoke for the Soul also has eucalyptus, so interesting that they have both this note and gives it a kind of a smoky quality. Anyway, Map the Heart Black Heart Volume 2 
or version two is another one for you to try. So this next one is from a house I haven't spoken about on the channel, but I had done a couple of posts on Instagram about them. This is a uh, source adage Akalua. I think that's how you say it, Akaula. This is an indie house from upstate New York, I believe that's where they're from. Uh, but this one actually has the note of uh, smoke as a note in the fragrance. There's also pineapple, oud, vetiver, there's ginger, vanilla, coffee. A very unique fragrance. It's really strong, a little goes a long way. But when you're smelling it out of the, the bottle, it's a little fruity because of that pineapple. No, it doesn't smell like Aventus, guys. But smoke just develops and develops and develops and it gets just darker and uh, more smokier as it's um, progressing. So it's a very unique uh, offering. Um, a little goes a long way as I'm saying. It's a pretty intense fragrance. When I put it on, it's really overwhelming. So it comes in a little bottle, but it's a performance. It's just uh, totally big. For me it is. I don't know. Maybe for you it might not be. But um, And I like my big fragrances, so um, that's saying a lot for this particular fragrance. So Aka Ula from Source Adage. Very smoky fragrance with fruity touches. So this next one is from the house of Atelier des Ors. Bois Sicar, this one right here. So Bois Sicar, Sicar I guess stands for cigarette. Bois is wood in uh, French. So this one is so smoky, it smells like a barbecue. Uh, literally, like really literally barbecuing woods and vegetation again. I don't smell meats from here, just the barbecue part. So you've got Styrax here, tobacco, Gaillac wood, vetiver, woody notes, cedar. It's so woody, it's ultra woody, and if you like your fragrances woody and smoky, definitely one for you to try. It's supposed to smell like a, um, a whiskey of some kind, I think from what I remember when they were launching this. So I don't get much boozy qualities with this one. It's very, very smoky and uh, woody for me. So it's Atelier des Ors Bois Sicard. Now this next one I reviewed recently. If you haven't caught that review, go catch it and participate in a full bottle giveaway. But this is Penhaligon's Terrible Teddy. This is a very smoky offering with lots of incense, leather, and ambroxan. The actual experience is very smoky, but there's lots of sweetness in here. And if you watch that video, you saw or you, uh, you heard me mention that there's a sweetness in here that's not really credited because incense, leather, and ambroxan I don't find to be sweet. So that sweetness in here is what really brings this fragrance alive because otherwise I feel like the fragrance would not be as enjoyable as I enjoy because I really enjoy this one and I think I I like that because of that um, sweetness. But it's ultra smoky with lots of incense. There's a leather note in here that's also very prominent. Uh, um, and then along with that, there's lots of woody uh, accords thrown in as well. Uh, the leather and there's like a cedar wood type note in here. I pick up like cedar in here. Uh, and that ambroxan goes salty uh, and uh, kind of um, earthy, woody uh, as well. So it's a very, very unique concoction. With this one, a little goes a long way as well because the cloud is massive. So this is Penhaligon's Terrible Teddy. Check that out if you like big fragrances. And if you like ambroxan, you definitely must check that that one. Okay, next going to the house of Etat Libre Orange, and this is Rien. This one right here, or if you want to go for something a little more intense, Rien Incense Intense. These, these two fragrances are very smoky. In fact, this is smoky, as you can smell it, but this is so darn smoky. And with this one, you've got lots of unique uh, notes here. It's very leathery, it's very incense it's very smoky, with lots of aldehydes, which brightens everything up. So if you imagine, uh, you've got this like really bright note of aldehyde with this dark smoky leather incense note so it's kind of like a you know weird fusion of like bright and light together which I like the contrast very very unique with this one you also have oak moss styrax patchouli it's ultra dark ultra smoky and here they're creating the smoke with uh, the, the combination of the leather and the incense it doesn't smell like church incense to me and I was trying to avoid church incense fragrances in fact I had a bunch that I decided not to include here and I wanted to make sure that this video is nothing about church incense, but more about just smoke. Anyway, if you like it smoke and dark and leathery, definitely check out Rien Intense Incense or just the regular Rien from the house of Etat Libre de Orange. Next, going to the house of uh, Gallagher Fragrances, and this is Bergamot Noir, this one right here. This is a smoke bomb, literally, it's a big, um, smoky smoke bomb with lots of bergamot and like woody notes, and if there's a uh, ambroxan. According to the notes as well. So it's bergamot, 
which is a more bergamot fragrance with bergamot, I mean, called bergamot noir, and it's just darkened up with all those dark notes of smoke. It's very, very smoky. It's also so intense that a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this one. A lot of the fragrances from this house are really intense, and this is one of them. And it's ultra, ultra smoky. So if you like it smoky and citrusy at the same time, definitely check this one up. But I think I get more smoke with this one than uh, the citrus. I think the citrus is there in the background, but it's all about woody notes and smoke. Check it out. It is Bergamot Noir from Gallagher Perfumes. So this next one I featured in a honey fragrances video, but it was the smokiest honey fragrance that I have ever smelled. It's from a house called PK Parfums, and this is Maderas de Oriente Oscuro. I don't know if you've seen uh, or heard about this one. Wow. It is so smoky. As soon as you put your no nose to it, the smoke dominates. But it is nicely balanced with lots of sweet honey. And in the background, I feel like there's some chili pepper note. It's very peppery. And not the, like the bell pepper kind, more like chili peppers. Like it's, it's strong and um, like if, if you taste it, which I'm not going to do, I feel like it'll uh, put a sting on your tongue or something because it's so peppery and strong. But lots of smoke here. Uh, this one has... Uh, smoke in the notes and uh, a few other notes of course the honey's in here as well but uh, lots of resins and balsams and things like that it's an intense experience and if you like it smoky this is definitely one for you to try but you gotta love honey because it's a combination of those two notes so pk parfums Madeira de oriente oscuro check that one out this next one i'm so glad to have in my collection finally this is from the house one of my favorite houses it's a uh, it is, um, drawing a blank, it's Maison Francis Kirkchen, and this is Cashmere Oud, this one right here. So I originally was not going to put this on this list. I had a few other fragrances, which is the, the true church incense fragrances. I removed those and I took this one on because I've been wearing it a couple times. I just picked this up, Cashmere Oud. And I was like, wow, this fragrance goes so smoky on me because originally I had it as a traveler and I finished it and I never really got a full bottle, but now I have a whole bottle and uh, I didn't remember it being very smoky but I kept wearing it and I'm like oh my god this is so damn smoky so it's got to be in here so this is an oud fragrance and I think they're getting the oud from um, the the smoke from the oud and the combination of the labdanum which is also present in here labdanum is that very dark and smoky um, note that they create um, la amber accord from so the combination, I think, is creating a very smoky experience. And you also have some benzoin and vanilla in here, so it adds some sweetness, but so good. This is probably my favorite oud, along with uh, satin and um, oud silk. Anyway, this is a cashmere oud from the house of uh, Maison Francis Kirkjian. This next one is from the house of uh, Frederick Mall. It's Monsieur, this one right here. Again, it's a very smoky experience. It's a smoky accord, but they're not using smoke in the notes. It's lots of patchouli, they have incense, rum, cedar, amber, clementine, musk, and the combination is really intense and strong, very, very smoky patchouli, dark, just a, like, just, it, I imagine or visualize the darkness with this one and strong smells emanating from, strong smell, smells coming from corners of the earth. Um, of course, it's got to be patchouli in there as well, but wonderful release. It's Mon Missio from the house of Frederick Mall for an ultra, ultra smoky patchouli experience. A few more left. This is the house of Amouage. It's Interlude Man. So this is so smoky, but it's also very herbal and aromatic. You've got lots of incense here, a Papanax, amber, oregano, leather, oud. It's a very, very unique smell. And I wish it was back to the way it was. It's ever since they magnetized the the cap, it's not as intense as I, I remember it being. And I actually have a video on YouTube that says uh, Amouage Interlude Man is no longer beast mode. If you haven't caught that video, catch it. I just don't find this to be very intense, but it is very, very smoky. And I like the balance of this one. I don't hate it. I just felt like it was stronger before when it was the non-magnetic cap. But this one has incense, a poppinax, amber, the oregano is what's giving it that aromatic touch, leather, oud, a wonderful release, a, a really, really wonderful release. But anyway, it's a amouage, and you guys probably like amouage. Are, are you fans of Interlude Man? Let me know. And what kind of performance do you get from Interlude Man? Do you consider it a beast? Please put that down so I can find out. All right, this next one has to be here, and I kind of... Uh, should have featured it early on, but it's towards the end. Uh, it's Nasumato Black Afghano. So this one has notes of smoke, honey, 
Woods, Soil, Patchouli. I really love this one. This was the very first uh, Nasamato that I bought back in 2013 when I first got into this. Well, a year or so after I got into this because uh, it's Barney's uh, where I bought it from. Uh, and you couldn't find these on online deals at that time. It was difficult. But Barney's used to always sell out. Like they would never keep up uh, or keep a, a, a good amount of uh, their stock. I was always told that, you know, Tourists would do, used to come in and buy up uh, every stock they had and go. And they used to also keep the tester in the back because I guess people really enjoyed it. But it is very, very smoky. It's a wonderful release. Uh, it's not the beast as it used to be. I think of reformulations, but still smell-wise it's great. Very, very smoky. I think there's also a cannabis note in here or hashish note. The combination is amazing. Anyway. Black Afghano from Nasamato. Wonderful release. This next one is from the house of uh, Tower Perfumes and this is Lone Star Memories. So Lone Star Memories is a leather fragrance after all, but for me, this is so damn smoky. It really also hints at this one a little bit. Um, a little bit. This one's a lot sweeter and not animalic. This one's really animalic for a leather. Like intensely animalic. Uh, it's Tower Perfumes Lone Star Memories. You got lots of leather. You got myrrh, labdanum, clary sage, some other, other wonderful notes, but it really does smell like a, a really um, animalic leather, but not ultra animalic. It's just a rough fragrance, but wonderful to wear. I love to wear this one. And I was talking to you guys about the Dunhill um, British leather recently. This is animalic, but I love this one. The British leather, I don't care for that one at all. It was a bad, bad fragrance. But this one's wonderful. It's very, very smoky though. The, the leather here is very smoky. And it's similar to the charred leather idea I was telling you about. But here, it doesn't smell like flesh. It smells more like leather. Anyway, this is Tower Perfumes Lone Star Memories. Wonderful offering. This next one is from the House of Juice Box. Green Bubble. I have a full review of this one. Check it out. This is another cannabis fragrance. It's got amber, honey, wormwood, cedar, sandalwood, saffron. Uh, an awesome, awesome, smoky cannabis sweet experience. It's very green. It's very herbal. It does kind of hint the herbal greenness uh, hints at this uh, smoke for the soul a little bit, but they're unique fragrances because both of them are cannabis. Uh, so uh, that it has that unique twist to it. But uh, very, very smoky uh, offering, but sweetened up with the amber and a honey note. And the, the warm wood gives it a very green vibe as well. And of course, the green color of the bottle, as you can see, uh, it's all about green and it's a cannabis marijuana. So it's a wonderful offering from Juice Box Green Bubble. It's inspired by, uh, what do you call it, um, Jamaica. Anyway, last but not least, we're going to a fragrance that I recently reviewed. Is it here? Yes. It's from the House of Florists, and this is Vert Fougere, and this is a smoky fougere. So it has that smoke note in there, but it's mixed in with all the fougere notes. You got lavender. There's also galbanum in here. So it's a unique twist on the fougere. If you're burnt out on the traditional fougere of the same thing over and over again, this might actually kind of do you good because, like I said, it has a smoke note in there thrown in there, and it adds a unique twist to the, the fougere and it's uh, very unique I think uh, it's wonderful the way they did this because you do get burnt out like if you if you like the idea of uh, Tom Ford's Beau de Jour and you think it's you know kind of similar to all other fougeres then this is something that you might give it give it a try because that smoke and the galbanum in here not just the smoke but the galbanum and the smoke in here gives it a unique twist Anyway, that's Flores Fert Fougere, and that's the last fragrance in this video. Um, can you guess which fragrance of which of these fragrances am I going to review? If you've been following my channel, you've probably seen some of the uh, fragrances that I've done videos for. So uh, you can study and learn which one I haven't done a full review of, and then you'll see. But anyway, if you want to participate, and if you guess correctly, um, one comment per person. Uh, I will, uh, whoever guesses first, because I will organize the comments with whoever does the comment first, then uh, that person, if they correct, guess correctly, will get the hat. It's a baseball hat. It says perfume on it, guys. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this list. Are you a fan of smoky fragrances? Do you like the idea of smoke? And if you have some smoky fragrances that you like that I have not featured here, let me know, put a comment down so that I find out. If you're fans of these fragrances, also let me know. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos very soon. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.